say today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. And the reason why I decided to partner up with them is because I know that a lot of you guys struggle with mental health and you guys keep a lot inside. And sometimes it's not that easy to find help elsewhere, especially if you're more closed off. So if you don't know what BetterHelp is, it's basically where you can get private online counseling for an affordable price. And also you can actually apply for financial aid to help out if you can't do it yourself. If you guys watch Shane Dawson, which I know that all you guys do, he actually mentioned BetterHelp a couple times and that's where I found interest and I was intrigued. The best part about this service is that it's convenient on your own time and you don't have to talk to someone in person. You can actually talk to your counselor or therapist online via phone, video message, and or just texting and that's so good. I feel like we're in a world where we as human beings don't like to personally let others know about our problems. Having someone to text who is professional and licensed, it makes a difference. It can make you feel safer and better about yourself internally and mentally. So I'm not gonna pressure you, but I will leave this here just for your own convenience when you wanna do it in private. And if you choose to do it, again, no force, but you can use my link at betterhelp.com slash Faye to sign up. And once you sign up, you just basically answer some questions that are given to you to match you up with the right therapist and you can immediately start counseling that day but if however you feel like you don't match this person or you don't like this person you can cancel you know get switched immediately there's no commitment between you and the professional so don't feel you know stuck again i wouldn't have partnered up with better help if i didn't personally think that this will actually benefit some of you guys very important matter that we take care of ourselves not just physically but emotionally and mentally with that being said i hope this video can actually help lighten up your mood and so off to the video hey it's it's, it's Faye couldn't tell huh <sighs> I'm tired I had a long morning I woke up like at 7 mailed out some packages went to the gym drove all around town got some coffee now I'm showered and I'm ready to do this so don't be tripping <laughs> So for today's video, I'm super excited. It's not a challenge, it's like a method. I saw a YouTuber do it and I love her channel. I'm pretty sure you know who she is. She's Stephanie, soothing sister. She's like OG on the tube, you know? I love having her videos play while I'm doing my makeup and doing laundry, which ooh, my clothes in the dryer has been there for like a week. So if you don't believe me, the proof is in the pudding. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyways, she did a video where she was putting powder before foundation and I watched it and I was like Mom shook Holy But jeez, I need to try that too It was just calling for me It was manifesting for me to try this out I heard it in my sleep, I heard it while I was on the toilet I heard, I, the calling was Oh, isn't that a movie? That's scary I'm home alone Okay, okay And how Today we're gonna try that and uh, let's just jump into the video because guys, I'm not my, my intro is too long, like, whatever. I don't care. Welcome back to channel three. All you really need for this video is, 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 ow. I already have my skincare on. Started this new thing this week and it's like the drunken elephant line and um, I had it sent to me like a while ago so I'm just finally starting to use it and I love it, love me. Oh no, you're gonna hit kids. I forgot that I have kids around this area. <laughs> you're gonna need a sponge. And remember when I cut out my, um, my beta butter love blender? I have these backups. Um, this is the Olive Young. I love Olive Young. Puff and sponge. Sponge. It smells whiny. Let's go with the sponge. First of all, slippers. We're gonna go into the sister's bathroom. Ooh. I like this a lot. Okay, just dry it off like a bit. Like your hand on your t-shirt, you know? Okay, now that we are um, back home. You've been home, but okay. We're gonna go ahead and take some um powder. So I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. Is this a good color then? Since it's banana shape. Picking my pimple. Derma Blend always sends me like powders. So I thought I'll put it to use and stop like not using it you know hey girl i'm just gonna use this sponge it comes with because like that's the whole point right the, the, okay uh i didn't really explain but the whole point of putting powder underneath your foundation is to help keep your foundation um 
actually I don't know hellogiggles.com Mika said I tried the makeup artist method of using powder before foundation and I didn't touch up once amazing best for oily skin hala it gives a more matte and longer lasting finish by controlling excess oil production i don't know how much you're supposed to put on good question i mean like stephanie just put like a fine layer on but knowing that i'm like hella oily okay anyways um wow that's a lot of powder we're just gonna put this powder on as if we know what we're doing you know that's always always the way to go you don't know what you're doing act like you know you don't want people to know that you don't know what you're doing. And they're gonna be like, oh my god, what are you doing? But you're like, I don't really know, but I'm gonna act like I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Life hack. Oh my god, my golly. Wow, I'm just gonna spread it everywhere first. I mean, honestly, skin looks super good though. Okay, so now that we know where we're placing our um, judgment, uh, we're just gonna blend it all out. Everything just feels so much softer and put together and i love that i believe that this strategy might be the one oh my god it feels so soft you know though like i have a lot of pores right here like a lot because you know i don't need to give you an explanation for everything i don't owe you one i'm just gonna put a little bit more here that may be a little much. I really like this powder, yo. Super fine. Yes. I really like this powder. Should I just wear powder like this sometimes? I'm gonna link this down below. It's the Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. It's so fine. It's so fine. Oh my god. I forgot to put on primer. So today's tutorial is um, us just, you know, always effing up. Hey. <sighs> Pretend that we have primer on. Hey guys, um, I already have primer on, and so I put the powder on. <laughs> Low key, every beauty guru, they be lying like that. White lies don't kill you. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Y'all can see my nose pores, but it's not that bad. Can y'all bet? So here are the big ones. I'm gonna just put a little primer on. Just, just a little bit. I feel so much. And if you don't try, then, um, then, 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 where am I? So I'm gonna bounce between these two primaries because I love them. Just kidding. I'm not gonna use the Tatcha one today. I'm gonna use the Fenty because more Fenty, more, more Menties. Just on the nose tip. Feels kind of weird. What can you do? Not much. When life throws you challenges, you succeed because we won't back down. Because we are competitive. Foundation time. I'm taking one of my favorite foundations, which actually works pretty well for my oily, acne prone skin. Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I've been using this since like summer, like beginning of summer. And like, I didn't think I would like it, TBH, because I was like, oh my gosh, so lightweight. It's like no coverage, but it's buildable. And that's where the coverage comes in. And like, so skin-like and lightweight, you know? I only need like, that much. I'm just gonna dab this, like two dots here, two dots here, actually four dots. I usually do this because I need coverage right here where I have a lot of agony. Um, scars. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you looking a little cakey though? Why does it look like I dragged that? I didn't drag that, did I? Hmm, interesting feeling. Mm. It was a bad idea to dot it. I do see some clanking. That. Why does it look like it's not blending? I feel like you can really see the fine lines on my forehead. I'm not about that life. Is this supposed to look like this? When I laid down this, the foundation, it kind of clung onto those spots and I didn't like distribute evenly. Don't do that. Let's just, let's just, let's just. On camera, I can't even tell. See how mattifying it looks? It is hella pad 
she do my do look at my nose though my do maybe okay and like even under my nose this is looking cakey and flaky so definitely this whole area like you got dragged as far as my cheeks and the size in my chin it looks pretty good actually if i had prime though you can still see the pores Obviously, um, the foundation I used is illuminating so you can still see a little bit of that glow that freshness that oof, Linda I like that look. Well, okay There you have it. Bye. I'm actually going to check in later However, I don't know how well that's gonna be I'm using natural lighting and like not actual like filming lights So like when the Sun goes down, I don't know how I'm gonna do <laughs> That was actually good you didn't expect that, right? Me neither. I will try to update you guys later tonight, and uh, we'll see like the final like. But until then, say goodbye to this ratchet here. <laughs> hey guys. So it's the end of the night, and um, I have no natural lighting anymore. <laughs> Can I like? Is that I just want to give you guys an update on this powder to foundation experiment. It is bad. It is not cute. Do y'all see this? First of all, patches everywhere. And you guys can tell that I'm oily right now. It's like cakey. Oh my god, honey. Oh my god, look at my forehead. There's like a lot of discoloration because of this. Don't do it. Oh my gosh, under this lighting, you can totally see. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, if I were to rate this technique, it definitely is like a zero. Does my skin look bad? Should I scrape my face? Okay, let's scrape it. Holy crap. Oh my god! That concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe if you want to. And follow me on my social media. That's Hayes Faye with three eyes. I feel like James Charles right now. Until next time, I'm gonna send you love. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> my new makeup tutorial should be called Cantaloupe. This is Annie Dewey. Oh, <laughs> my